are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, the wait is over. Aaron Rodgers is now a New York Jet. Uh, we've Rhodes actually really been covering this more on the um, Black and White Sports 2. But this is the uh, the big news right now. Uh, what are your initial thoughts on it before we actually get into the meat and well, potatoes of it, this thing? It's the news we were all waiting for. Number one, we can put those pesky 49ers rumors to bed. Yep. That's, that's a wrap, right? Um, pretty much figured this was still going to happen. The it took a little bit longer than what I thought. Yeah, it did. Uh, we knew that the NFL draft was going to be the first deadline in this situation, really and truly, particularly the second day of the draft by uh, the second day starting. I have not even seen the compensation on this yet, so we're going to be sort of looking at this in real time on the story. Um I don't even know what the Jets got back as of yet. I know it's so, a couple of first round pits. I just briefly glanced over it. Um, that's what I just go did, ahead and share my screen. Now. They did not give up first round picks, right? I think it was first round pits here because um, they might have gave up gave up one for next year, but surely they did not. I don't know them. about this year, but I know it was first round pits <gasps> involved though. They swapped the first round picks. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's, they did. okay. that makes sense. And a small note here, um, Aaron Rodgers will not be wearing number 12. He is going to wear number 8, so Joe Namath's number will remain retired. Absolutely. Right Absolutely. So, all right. Right here it says Aaron Rodgers is a Jet. The most talked about move of the 2023 offseason has finally been completed just days before the 2023 NFL draft. The Packers have traded Rodgers to the Jets. The compensation, according to Adam Schefter of ESPN, is the two teams swapping their first round pits on Thursday night, the 13th to the Packers for the 15th uh, to the Jets. The Packers get a conditional 2024 pick that will be a first rounder if Rodgers plays 65% of the snaps and will otherwise be a second rounder. The Packers are uh, getting the 42nd and 207 pick in the 2023 draft and the Jets getting the 170th pick in the 2023 draft. So uh, the key from the Packers standpoint is whether Rodgers plays at least 65% of the Jets snaps, offensive snaps in that season. If so, they get the uh, first round pick they want it, but they wait until 2024. I truly do believe, you know, unless he gets injured, he's playing, you know, 90 plus percent of the snaps, you know, unless it's just a hey, garbage time, you know, that kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He's getting this I, 65% easily. I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm kind of surprised they made the condition that low far yeah. as, as far as the, the number of snaps, I would have thought it would have been somewhere up in the 80 to 85% range. Probably. Maybe, maybe the they were thinking, Maybe they're thinking, hey, if um, Rodgers sucks and he turns into Peyton Manning, he gets uh, benched for uh, Brock Osweiler or something like that, then, you know, <laughs> could be that. <laughs> if he's benched for Brock Osweiler, that will truly be some news since Brock's been out of the league for like seven years. But I get your point. What if Zach Wilson had to come in? Right. Um, you know, the big hang-up on all of this was whether or not he was going to play in 2024. That that was what the Jets were really holding out for at no point in all this, and just far as fresh news, at no point in this discussion had anybody talked about them swapping their first round picks. Yeah, that, I didn't that is I didn't brand see new. that. I thought yeah. that the Packers would well well, I should say the uh, the Jets would have to give up pits instead yeah. of swapping pits. You know, yeah, that's that's sort of surprising because that's just a two pick move up for the Packers, and um, there's nothing in here about 2024 and whether or not he no. plays there, which no. is really was the sticking point that we kept hearing about was whether or not they thought they would get a second year out of Aaron Rodgers, 
And nowhere in here does it talk about uh, 2024. Uh, it says, if so, they get a first-round pick they wanted, but they will wait until 2024. But nothing yeah. about him. Nothing right. about him playing in 2024. And the Jets wanted – what the Jets originally wanted was to have that second-round pick be conditional – as to whether or not he comes back and plays another year, now it's based on the snaps he plays this, this year. year. Yeah, one year. That's shocking to me that they um, they kind of agreed to give up that first. Because to me, they, you traded next year's pick no matter what, right. basically. Next year's first-round pick, you probably just gave it up, right? Right. 60, 65%. Yeah, he should be able to hit that this season. I would have made that 65% of next season. Right. Then we'll then we'll flip it to a first round from a second round. Now, should be noted in here, the Jets had two for, uh second round picks this year. Two. They had 42 and 43. They're keeping their 43rd pick in this year's uh second round. So they're giving one up, but they've got another one. Okay, so that that yeah. does take some sting out for the Jets. So technically speaking, the Jets aren't having to give up a first round pick at all this year. And I'm thinking that they the Jets got the better of this deal, I think. I, I mean, then they're, they're not Yes and no. I, I, I tend to agree with that for for this season, I'm just surprised they didn't have that to they give up much. That they seems. back that they backed off of next season's conditions. Yeah. Because I'm gonna be honest. My honest to God feeling about all this Aaron Rodgers thing was I don't know that I would want him if I couldn't get Aaron Rodgers to give me two seasons. Right. To begin with. I mean, truly, if you're only going to commit for one season. I don't know that I'm giving up all these assets. Now, one could blame Joe Douglas for that because he didn't insist on getting this done while there were other quarterbacks still on the market. That he he boxed himself into a corner with no Garoppolo, no De Derek Carr, no I'm mean, like even Jacoby Brissett is gone. Baker Mayfield gone. He didn't have any other options. What was his backup plan? Which he had none. This could have went really yeah. badly for the Jets. It could have. Uh, they got their man. On a side note, very quickly, the NFL, as you can expect, is working on the schedule right now. Um, this story came out right as this trade was happening. The NFL has worked on their schedule with the assumption that Aaron Rodgers would be a New York Jet. Now, this may very well mean we will get the Dallas Cowboys versus Aaron Rodgers and the oh, Jets here on, we go thanks, again. on Thanksgiving. It's going to be. I, I like that matchup. Can't like wait. That, that, oh, that I just like sounds that fun. For yeah. yeah, I do too. I do too. As a football fan, that's on Thanksgiving Day, New York, Dallas, Aaron Rodgers. That that could be truly great. You want to talk about the biggest regular season rating ever? That's possible. Yeah. Ever. And look at game. this, man. Look at this. The NFC is almost a complete dumpster fire. The AFC is loaded where's your quarterback saying i mean this is not a stretch right here Rhodes. i'm gonna say this this is not a stretch that dak prescott is a top three quarterback in the nfc that's not a stretch to say that right now it, let's see well jalen i was hurts. just sitting here jalen hurts would be i guess the is he the best quarterback in the nfc <laughs> wow. i hate to i hate to give wow. guys a one year one yeah, great year too. like that, but who do you have? Kirk Cousins is in the NFC. He's Kirk been Cousins good, really good. Yeah, he's been but, good. 
Better than people have given him credit for, let's put it that way. But it's not a stretch to say Dak is top three. That's, Derek Carr that, is in with it, the Saints now. Oh, yeah, he's with the Saints now. But far as elite, there are no elite no, quarterbacks in no. the NFC. We'll have to see with Jalen Hurts for um, another season. He uh, just got a lot of money. True, true, true. I mean, he's close. He's real close. Mm-hmm. But that AFC is stat. I mean, let me just a- stat. Let, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Does this guarantee the Jets make the playoffs? Not not really. I mean, I mean they got a hell of a team around. Yeah, Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I know that. It's hard to say that's an odd. I mean, that he's got to go through Josh Allen. Yeah. And there's no doubt with Bill O'Brien, Mac Jones is going to be better this year, and the Patriots will be better. Yes. Yeah. So it's not it's going not, to be it's a not, cake It's wall. not a guarantee. No, it's not a guarantee. I don't think so. But the Jets so. are definitely better right now. now. Now, let's say they do make it. How fired up are you for a Aaron Rodgers Jets Patrick Mahomes Chiefs AFC Championship game? That's pretty badass. You know what? That's pretty badass. No, or I, Joe Burrow. I'm, or I'm Joe gonna, Burrow versus no. Aaron Rodgers. Even right now with Aaron Rodgers, I don't have the Jets above the Chiefs. I don't have them above the the Bengals. I think the Bengals are probably going to go to the Super Bowl again next year. As of right now, way, way, way too early. Sure. Prediction. Sure. Man, do you realize how I love close the, Bengals, the Bengals? To be honest man, with you. Yeah. Man, I, man, you can make a case that uh, Joe Burrow is the best QB. I know Patrick Holmes just won the Super Bowl. Uh-uh. Don't I, even. Don't. Know this is he, him. This is him. This I know. John Matrix saying this. Not but, not road rants, but, but not road rants. But, but but would it shock you though, if if the Bengals were back in the Super Bowl next year? Would it shock you? No, 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 no. It it took some bad luck to keep them out. Frankly, this year, Demar Hamlin. Mm, anybody? Yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely. Uh, I've got. I'll, I'll tell you this. I got Joe Burrow as. The second best quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, I, right I'm, up th- there. I'm that high. Yeah, I, I'm not I mean, saying that Patrick Mahomes it, is not not the best, but man, Joe Burrow, man, he he may be the MVP next season. Yeah, he yeah. may be the MVP. Yeah, and they signed that hot shot tackle. That Bengals team's got some real, real potential next year. Yeah, the and, Bills. The Bills are going to be there too. Um. And, Is Justin Herbert and the Chargers going to make that net step? Justin well, Herbert's a, a damn good quarterback, man. Uh, well, yeah, but he's going to have to start winning. Yeah, I know. I know. That's he's got to start winning. That's what I'm you saying. Or, or are they going to take that net step? Yeah. Um, if, let, if I put the Chargers versus the Jets, I'd pick the Jets in that matchup. Okay. So I would. I mean, look, the Jets had a very good defense. So that's something the Chargers don't have. Yeah. You know, I mean, and, and, you know, you've got, I don't got think the, the weapons Jets not, with the Jets. The Jets are not winning the division. I think that um, the Bills, that's still their division to, um, to win next season. But I really would like to see Josh yeah. Allen cut yeah. back on the turnover some. Well, even, even him, Mahomes, Mahomes and, and um, Josh Allen, they kind of threw quite a few pits last season. J- Josh Allen actually had, and not a lot of people brought this up, he had a little bit of regression Yeah, last year. You're not wrong about the, that. He was all world the year before. But he looked a little more like Josh Allen three years ago instead of Josh Allen two years ago. So that's something to keep in mind, you know. And yeah. I understand that team went through a lot. I get that. Yeah. I'm not going to act like they didn't. But honestly, I don't know who. I don't is know. Really do you, coming out of the. Um, do the who, Jets make the playoffs? Um, seven seven spots. Do they make the playoffs? I'll give them a playoff spot, but they okay. they're not winning the division. They're going to be a wild card team, most likely. I think so too. Yeah. Now the NFC. I think so too. Man, NFC is just Niners. Niners. Yeah. It's Niners, probably the Niners. Niners Eagles. Niners Eagles again. Yeah. I mean, 
I mean, think about it. As far as the rosters uh, go, that's the two best rosters in the yeah. NFC. Yeah. Rodgers, that's the team you should have went to. <laughs> <laughs> in that conference? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. man, that would have been a good NFC championship game. Yeah. All right. Anything else we need to talk about this, Aaron Rodgers being a Jet? No, I, I I don't think so. I okay. think we're good. It's finally happened. It's, it's happened. It, it's Took finally a little bit longer, happened. but it did happen. Only fifty two videos later, it is yep. done, a done deal. <laughs> so, all right, peace. We're out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.